Uh, hello guys, so um, this is the first time I'm recording a tutorial, like I'm speaking in a tutorial. Um, I found a way to actually beat or to complete the Macrophages 4 challenge. Uh, it isn't, it is classified as very difficult and believe me it is very difficult there's a way where you can actually solve it uh, through the um, evolution uh, where you have to participate in the evolution of your swimmers and your cells and this is like a cheat now i don't i don't condone cheating if you want to do it do it this is the easiest. Yes, this is the easy way to beat the challenge. It isn't the most correct one, but um, yeah. So you open up the challenge. You go to genome, and you're gonna make a basic swimmer, which is uh, you take your first cell, your initial cell. It's a phagocyte. So you you. Thick, um, you tick just uh, you have to tick make a dizzying. Uh, the first child you change it to number two, and the, th uh, the second child you tick it to number three. You move up the timeline, you get to cells. The first, or the first cell, the, the left one, you m uh, click to the jello site and you leave it like that, and the Cell number two or the second child, the one on the right, you take it to, uh, or you leave it at phagocyte. Um, the first child you're gonna make number two, so it just goes on like that, just keeps multiplying, and this is your basic swimmer. So you could leave it at that. The first thing I do is to click on this cell and move the, night, the nutrient uh, priority just the slightest amount to the left like that so you oh, sorry so you, you have um, yes, yes, you, like, probably 68 23 so you have like long lasting or even long longer lasting uh, swimmers because of the flagellocytes they get more um, nutrients and the child one sorry, on the, the first cell the initial cell you're gonna make the child one angle you take snap values and the child two angle sorry you want to make it like six, so basically like five, six around that. So this makes like the the swim rate instead of going just like this, it goes like this, and it starts to rotate. So it, it doesn't spread as much initially. It goes like around itself, and it takes all the nutrients it can gather around that uh, specific area. So just whatever in the bowl, in the, the petri dish and wait for the you know the so it could could work like on the first try if it doesn't work on the first try it looks it looks like it did um just click reset uh, and try again uh, with the same defaults this works for me this is will oh, sorry sorry you can tell it probably will work for you too so go to observe and you have to keep um, to keep looking at this counter right here and when it reaches like you have to get 300 cells and it has to reach 230 I've reached like on this stage probably like 250 I believe so you have to keep count uh, you have to keep count so right now is at 233 cells and the higher you get the best 
uh, you have to freeze it on the highest po point you can possibly uh, freeze it and then on the microscope and this is where you basically cheat you still have you can find it here you have 29 cells to just throw in there and that 29 cells they will immediately like split and you'll get 58 cells so basically it's just put them put the cells wherever you want them to just spread them around on the clear spaces i know this is really really bad and i'm sorry for, for doing a tutorial i like yes lab, lab budget only allows for 30 cells so well, on the objective you have 262 cells and hopefully when I click observe it will go to over 300. I know this is, um, this is not the proper way to do it and I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the creator because this isn't the way he intended to his game to be played and it's an awesome game. But I'm just one of the, those uh, people that have to get every level like either perfect or complete the challenges in every level and I don't have the time to, to see uh, throughout the, the entire process of um, evolution of a cell. Um, right now I don't, my days off is like working around the house so I don't actually have the time that I wanted to to actually play the game. Whenever I have free time I have chores to do, I have work to do and I'm lucky I can even I can even uh, find the time to record these um, these tutorials. So just click observe and hopefully it will go over 300, which it won't because I'm filming this. If it doesn't, just click reset. Leave one cell and you know again. So. It could work sometimes, it won't work in others, in other times, but basically you have to wait to be patient and it's a whole lot faster than the other way around, but as I said, it probably isn't the best, the best way, but it is the quickest, it is the easiest way. I will try and uh, probably on Sunday, I will try and make like the the other version, the correct one. Hopefully, um, again, just have to wait, just wait a little bit. Come on, the counter is dropping. Okay, 228. So now just throw the cells around. Yeah, this is an awesome game. It's one of the best games I possibly could find around the, the Play Store. So. 258 cells. Let's observe. Challenge completed on the second try. Um, again, this isn't how the game is supposed to be played. Um, but it's a way to play the game, basically. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you don't do this like a lot and if you choose to play like the cheats around this level just because you want to have like the entirety of the entire game like solved um, or completed I guess this is a way it I, I don't feel like I have accomplished anything whatsoever I feel like I have cheated and it leaves me kind of shitting inside but I guess it's up to anyone 
to do um, to do this. So this is not a required level. So if you don't want to cheat and if you want to learn things and you want to play around in the experiment, um, like in the evolution experiment stuff, it's awesome. It's, it's better than doing this, but yeah, as you can see, I don't have like, I only solved the, the most important ones because I want to have like the, the, whole, the whole set of levels. But yeah, so give this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, there's awesome content on the way, I just have to find time to, to do what I want to do, and yeah, comment down below, uh, seriously, comment down below your favorite methods to, to solve this level, I heard that like 0.6% of the players, so if a thousand people play this game, uh, only about six of them pass, uh, complete the challenge, the, the Macrophages 4 challenge, so comment if, if you have passed it and not with this method, just comment down below what you did and let's see if we can, if, if you can like uh, solve it another way another easy way so um, yeah thanks for watching big thumbs thumbs up big thumbs up to peter peter i don't know how to say your name but um big thumbs up what's this big thumbs up to to you you're an awesome guy you actually developed a game and you are like on the forum helping people and you promoted my videos thank you very very much and guys if you have any trouble with some of the levels just give like the forum a visit it really really helps you and i feel like there's an awesome community there i'm i'm also um signed up to the to the forum because it's nice to feel part of a community and yeah that's about it Thanks for watching and see you in the next Cell Lab tutorial. Bye!